here we are, early September. Um, you can see the beans are really starting to turn yellow fast here. Um, I got about 20, maybe almost 30 pounds of winter rye and cedar ready to go. This is the perfect time to come in here and put in the winter rye right before a lot of the leaves drop because if you look down in the soybeans, it's just pure soil exposure. If you wait too long, it'll be filled up with leaves and you probably won't get the best um, germination from the winter rye. So that's why I'm going to seed this plot. I have another small plot I'm going to do here too, but I probably won't do that today. That one's kind of greener still. Maybe I'll wait maybe about a week and do that one. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do this one and a few plots at home. I'm going to include it all in one video. So here we go. You can see this area is just probably barely an eighth of an acre in size. You can buy a bag, 56 pound bag for $21. I'm going to try and put a lot of my areas of winter rye this year in around 100 acres, 100 pounds per acre. Um, so I probably will only need to use maybe like half that bag or so. Um, you can't really overseed winter rye. You just want to get it in nice and thick so it looks like a green carpet underneath the standing soybeans. The reason why I'm doing it on this plot is so I can just no-till the soybeans into this next year. I won't have to till up the ground because it's on a hill here and it's just kind of hard to get the disc up here and everything. A lot of our other bigger bean fields, I'm not going to put any winter rye in because we're going to plan on tilling them up next year. I'm just going to do this in areas where I plan to no-till next year. Either no-till buckwheat into it or no-till soybeans into it next year. Well, you can see down here, all those seeds right here. Some of them are sitting on top of the leaves, but I think they're still gonna... There's not a ton of leaves down here yet, so we should get pretty good germination. There's a lot of rain forecasted after this weekend. So, see all the seeds right there. I probably ended up putting it a little a little thicker than 100 pounds per acre, maybe close to 150, 100, maybe, maybe even close to 200, but that's fine. Like I said, you can't really overseed the stuff. Got about a third of the bag left, so I probably used close to 30 pounds on an eighth of an acre which is pretty thick like I said so we'll see how this turns out I think it'll it'll look like a green carpet right underneath this soybean food plot this winter so it'll be pretty cool You can see these plants are, this area of beans was planted really thick, too thick. So that's why there's not a ton of pods in here, but there definitely is a good amount. Um, I'm putting in the winter rye, you can see all the seed down in here. I'm putting it in basically so next spring it'll come back super strong and then we can just no-till the soybeans. This year we had to like till this up with the hand rototiller. And uh, see a lot of pods right there. But uh, that way we can just no-till these areas in the future. We're probably only going to be able to plant this for a few more years. The, the trees are starting to get a little too big. Well, here we are. I'm not sure how long this is after. This is the plot right up here by the road in between the tree rows. You can see this plot turned brown the fastest out of all the beans, probably because it's a little drier in here. Um, anyways, the winter rye is all coming up really nicely. I'll update you one more time, um, but yeah, it's it's looking good. It's gonna look even better. It's gonna be really lush next time I update you. This stuff is gonna take off and really grow quick. Now it's getting full sunlight basically that all the all the leaves have dropped, so it's really gonna take off here. Well, here we are. Um, trying to be a little bit quieter. Um, it's the morning of October 14th right now. This is the last update in this video. You can see the. The plot is really starting to green up good. Um, like I said, it's October, so there's plenty of time left. <clears throat> this stuff will continue to grow all the way into December as long as it's above 
right around 40 to 45 degrees this this stuff will grow so I don't see hardly any deer bars on it yet but I assume once they finish the pods and they'll just start munch on it throughout the late fall early winter like November December time frame you can see I got this in really thick which which is what you want um, the thicker the better with this stuff because then it comes in like a lawn um, there's still quite a few pods left obviously um, it's a pretty dry area so I'm amazed how good these beans do here especially way up here in the front they were looking pretty weak in some dry stretches we had this summer this stuff right here some of the tallest looking stuff is a little bit past my ankles already so it's looking good um, yeah it's probably the last update like I said in the video um, we can see all these big tree stumps we had. I've said this in so many other videos. I just cut all this out. It would have been like two or three years ago now. It would have looked like that if I wouldn't have done anything. It's just a nice little eighth of an acre food plot up here. And then our bigger fields right down there with the corn, beans, and brassicas. I don't have any winter ride in those soybeans though. Here I'm planning on doing um, the no-till beans method. This winter ride is going to come up be about waist to chest high next uh, late spring early summer around June I'll broadcast a bunch of beans back in here crush it all down and spray it and we'll have no-till broadcasted soybeans in here next year these ones I worked it all up and uh, hand drilled I think I broadcasted a few but uh, yeah with this winter eye here I can just crush and I won't even need to till this area again well here we are Last update in the video. It's really not growing too fast. Just because, you know, it's getting later in the growing season and everything. But uh, this stuff, it will continue to grow throughout the winter, little bit by little bit. And uh, yeah, the, in the spring it comes back like crazy. And uh, the deer will munch on it in the spring too. So thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is probably going to be the last food plot planting video, obviously. I'll have some food plot updates um, probably coming out after gun season. That'll be early December, maybe some mid-December, something like that. So that'll be the next food plot videos. Till then, it's just going to be all hunting videos. I know they don't get many views, but whatever. Um, yeah, catch you in the next one, guys.